Hi, it's Barry here. I want to invite you to my new webinar, which is on the subject of fears and phobias. Now, this is an updated version, so if you've attended a previous version of this a couple of years ago, you'll learn some um, more advanced techniques in this particular webinar, because in the last couple of years I've been testing a few things out and I come up with some great new methods for working with fears and phobias. Now, why would you want to, to learn these materials? Well, fears and phobias are really like the bread and butter of the hypnotherapist or the NLP um, therapist's work. And if you can get a proven track record for working with fears and phobias, you'll get lots of referrals because people will see how quickly and easily you're able to help people. So in this webinar, we're going to be looking at the difference between, what's the difference between a true phobia and a fear? Because a lot of times, particularly NLPers, make the mistake of trying to use the NLP fast phobia model on something that's not a true phobia. And if you do that, you are not going to get very much success at all because it was never designed to use that particular method with a, an anxiety or a fear. So we're going to be looking at what is the difference because there is a completely different approach between one particular phobia and another phobia. So for example, public speaking. If you try to run the fast phobia cure through the um, a public speaking fit is never going to work. Same with fear of flying. It's not the same. So you've got to come up with some different ways of working because what's happening there is there's more complex levels to the strategy, the unconscious strategy of how the person creates the fear or the anxiety. So you're going to have to learn how to work with each different type of fear or phobia because they're not the same. And the big mistake I see people making is trying to use one technique that works really well with one thing and think well, it must work if it works for that it's going to work for everything it doesn't work like that you've got to find out how the client is creating the fear or the phobia you're going to be learning some very advanced submodality shift techniques that really create profound change you're going to learn how to split the synesthesia um, if you know what synesthesia is great if you don't basically what that means is two senses wired together and this is typically the case in a lot of fears and phobias so you need to learn how to split the synesthesias and create change. We're going to look at why then the fast phobia cure doesn't work for many phobias. When it works, it works really well. When it doesn't work, it's not going to work at all. And there are particular ways of setting it up to ensure that you get success. Because one of the big mistakes that I see so many therapists make when they're trying to use the fast phobia model is, and for those of you who don't know the fast phobia model, it's, what, it's called the rewind technique or the movie theater technique. And they get the person to think about whatever it is they're fearing and make a big image of it up on a movie screen. That's exactly the wrong thing to do. Because if you do, you can make it worse. You're also going to learn some very powerful eye, an eye movement technique. Um, this is not EMDR or IEMT. This is a different completely different eye movement method that can reduce fears, reduce phobias or remove phobias very, very, very quickly. And you can use the same technique for many other things as well. Like if someone has got a compulsion, you can use the same method to change that into a revulsion really quickly. So this is one of the things I'm going to be teaching that I've not taught before on here. We're also going to learn how to work conversationally. How to conversationally remove fears and phobias. Now, in the past, this was great because you're doing it in your therapy room and that, it just sounds like you're having a conversation. But when you're working over Zoom, it's even better because there's some limitations that, you know, when you're working over Zoom, you can't do in the normal therapy office. Like, for example, it's very difficult to do a standard collapse anchors when you're like putting your hand on people's shoulders if you're working over Zoom. Good luck with that one. So we're going to learn how to look to... to work conversationally over Zoom to remove fears and phobias. And this is a lot easier than possibly you'd imagine. So we're going to be really diving into this. And there's going to be learning much, much more. Now, if you've ever attended any of my uh, webinars before, you know I pack them absolutely full with good quality information. There's no fluff. There's no fancy metaphors of me just telling you war stories of all the clients I worked with and how great I am. No, you're going to be learning techniques that you can literally use with your next client. So I hope that you'll sign up now.
for this webinar. Um, the, the, the link will be in the description below. And if you have any questions, please let me know. So this, this training will come complete with a manual. So you get all the techniques written down. It will be around about the sort of two hour mark. Sometimes I go a little bit over um, because it's, it's when I, I get going, I would want to give you as much information as I can. And if you have any questions, we might run over a little bit, but typically it's around about two hours. So I hope to see you soon. I hope you sign up and I hope you see you on the day.